Hey everyone, welcome back. Tonight we are going to do jambalaya. Um, this was something I just found searching the internet a couple years ago and decided to start making because I do that sometimes. I get bored with everything that I make. It's Sometimes I get into a routine that I'm making only the same things over and over again that I want something new. So when I was in one of those moods, I searched the internet and I came with jambalaya. And I know I've, I've heard it before, but I never even knew what was in it or what it was about. So this evening, that is what we were going to make. And this is just an easy one pot, quick, not so quick, but quick, <laughs> quick little dish to make. Um, I'm waiting for my pot to heat up and I just have a six quart pot right here and I have about one to two tablespoons of olive oil eating up, heating up, sorry. And um, into that, I am going to throw this little plate first. And here I have an onion chopped up. I have three stalks of celery, which you can give or take as much as you want. Three is good enough for me. I don't want to overpower it with celery. I could even do just two, which would be fine by me. And I have three bell peppers. Now my bell peppers in here, I have an orange, a yellow, and a red. You can have three oranges, three yellows, three reds. You can have three greens. It doesn't matter, just as long as you have three. I think I'm heated up enough here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them all in. Oh yeah, definitely heated enough. I'm get a bit of plate stir. All right. So I'm just gonna let that heat in the pot for just about a minute or two, not too long, with some garlic. Now, I only put about a tablespoon in here, or I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, a teaspoon. Um, you could do three teaspoons, two teaspoons, one teaspoon. I'm just going to do one, because we all know my husband does not like garlic to overpower anything. And while we let that um, cook for a minute or two, I will tell you what is on this plate and what else kind of goes into this jambalaya. Um, so here I have a pound of andouille sausage. It's um, about four sausage links and that's kind of what comes in a package anyways. It's usually four or five. This type, the only kind I could find at the store was a Cajun style, which is perfectly fine because jambalaya can be a little bit spicy. However, it does have cayenne powder, and I'm just going to take back a little bit um, and not use as much cayenne powder in it because I do have the Cajun style um, andouille sausage here, so I don't want to like make it too too powerful. And then I have a pound of chopped up um, chicken here. Um, that's one to two, uh, eh, it's like two to three chicken breast or like a pack of the chicken tenderloins is what I usually like to get. I like they're just so much easier, um, easier to chop up and stuff. They're just easier to work with. Okay, that looks like that is good enough in there. It's just literally one to two minutes. They start to sweat is when you wanna add the chicken and your sausage. And now you don't have to use andouille sausage. You can use other types of sausage, that's fine. It's just this one's usually the most common to use. Okay, and I'm gonna give that a quick stir. You want to let your meat, um, your chicken brown. The the sausage is kind of pre-cooked for the most part, so it just gets heated through. And right now, I will. I'm gonna put all my seasonings into this little thing to put it in all at one time. So for our seasonings for this, we're gonna use paprika, 
cayenne, oregano, dried oregano, and some thyme. So, I'm going to start with my paprika. I'm just going to take all these lids off here because it's just so much easier. So, we are going to do a teaspoon of paprika. Put that back on. We are going to do a teaspoon of the oregano. Making sure I have the right one. Okay. A half a teaspoon of thyme. Okay, and now for the cayenne, you usually would put in a full teaspoon, but again, since I already am using a Cajun style andouille sausage, I am going to just put in half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit less. might do a taste test later and throw a little bit more in there but I don't want it to be like too spicy so I'm gonna check on my meat over here okay we're gonna give this a stir and if you can see my chicken is starting starting to turn color starting to cook up here this pot is so colorful it's so Oh, it's just looking so pretty, so good. It will turn like red here in a little bit as soon as we add some more things. Okay. And that's good that we can go ahead and add our seasoning. <laughs> Excuse me. I am going to just do a little more sprinkled kind of just, just to do it. I like things spicy so it's not so bad. Now this is not really a dish that I'm going to have my son eat or my girls for sure because it's going to be too spicy regardless for them. So I'll make them like a grilled cheese or peanut butter and jelly or something like that. Okay and we're going to just let that cook with the um, seasonings on for just about a minute and I'm gonna go get some more stuff over here okay it's about ready to add more stuff this is so easy really it's not complicated at all okay so you want to add about a 14 ounce or 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes and this one, this Hunt's, had celery, onion, and green pepper in it already, like with it. So, and I thought that was good because we're, those are, um, things were already added into here. So, we're going to put that in. Man, this cayenne pepper is really getting to me right now that I spilled because we know I'm a plug. Okay. And you want a tea, tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> it's not easy to say. I should have taken the cap off because this is taking forever. Alright, look. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we are going to add that in there. Okay, and then three cups, three cups of chicken broth goes in. Alrighty. Guess what, guys? This is almost it. All right. Okay, so here's a little side thing. We are gonna let this boil and cook 
Once it starts to boil, we're gonna put this on a simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes. Now, there's one of two things you can do here. If you have just regular rice, you would add this to the pot right now and you would let that simmer. Once it boils, you would simmer it for 30 to 40 minutes. However, I, you know me, I like it easier. I have minute rice, because I always just have it on hand, because um, I use several different things with the rice that I just have minute hand on rice all the time. So that's what I have, and that's what I'll use. So I will actually let this simmer for the 30 to 40 minutes first, once it starts boiling, and then I will add the rice. But until then, I'm just, I don't have to do anything else. So I'll see you in about a half an hour. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and I did forget to tell y'all that you needed to put three bay leaves in there, which I did, but I forgot to tell you guys. So now I need to add my rice and my shrimp and then I'm gonna let it cook for another 10 or so minutes. But before you do that, you gotta take the bay leaves out. And mine thankfully stayed pretty near the top. So one, two, three, because I usually like stir pretty hard. So you have to, I have to like dig them out, but these ones stayed pretty near the top. So it's good, but like look at all these colors and everything is just so pretty. Oh my goodness. Anyways, so I'm going to add shrimp and now I just have a pack of like medium or large, no, they're, I think they're the medium ones, um, pre-cooked and vein removed shrimp. So I'm gonna add that to the pot and a cup and a half to two cups of my minute rice. Give that a good stir and then I'm gonna let this go for another 10 or so minutes let the shrimp get heated up and the rice cook completely that'll take about 10 or so minutes just get it all incorporated in there so that everything gets now my my pot is on low from simmering so I am gonna just bump it up just a little tiny bit. I'm gonna still keep it on rather low, but just a little bit more. So maybe it boils a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, we're all done. I have a little helper with me because she cries every time I place her down right now because she's hungry. What do you do? Anyways, we're all done. It looks so good, so good. It doesn't take long and it doesn't, it looks so complicating and it's really not, it's so easy. And it's so good. I didn't know what it was a couple years ago, started making it. Now it's something I like to make every once in a while and it's so good, so easy, so delicious. Oh, look at that. Just look at it. So good. Ooh, if I had some bread to dip in that sauce. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this one tonight. Gotta feed the children first. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I hope this is one that you like and you try. Please, please go like my Facebook page, share my video, like my video. Go on to my blog post for the recipe and go ahead and like that as well. Share that also. And then go on to my YouTube channel and subscribe there. I, pre I appreciate everything so much. Thank you. Enjoy your week.